Oh, you caught me cutting. You, yeah, caught me fixing my hair. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're talking about building your belief factor on seven minutes in the morning this morning. Well, I love technology. It is my friend most days. Today, one of those challenging days. Hey, how are you doing this Tuesday morning? My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for this fantastic show that comes on every day at 7 o'clock. Had somebody ask me last night, what time did your show come on? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock every day. So, um... See, that got me all out of my normal routine. How you doing this morning? This week, yesterday, uh, this week, yesterday has been this week so far, we talked about beliefs versus hopes. Do you believe you can do it or do you hope that it's going to turn out? And so today I want to talk about increasing your belief factor. How if you have some doubt as to how things will turn out, how you can improve that. But before I get to that, I want to encourage you, whether you're watching live, watching on the replay, or listening in your podcast catcher, head over to Facebook, if you're listening in your podcast catcher, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're here live or replay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't hurt my feelings. If you have to catch the replay, I'm just happy that you're here. Do what Keith and Joe and Brooke have done already this morning. Leave me a note and say hi. I will appreciate it. I'll say hi back to you if you do it before the show's over with. And um, we'll go from there. All right. All right. So belief versus hope. Yesterday we were talking a little bit about do you really believe that you can create the out, uh, the outcome, the result that you're looking for, or do you just hope that it's going to work? And we talked about some of the obvious, should be obvious by now what I think about that. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about increasing your belief factor, what you believe, right? What you have faith and confidence to be true. That's what to believe means. Something you have faith and confidence to be true. How can you increase your belief factor if you're doubting, right? I mean, that that's one of the things that is a challenge especially for new business owners, especially even if you're an employee, you're in a new job, in a new role. You might question whether you can really do this or not. They really know I'm qualified for this. How do they know? And I don't know. So here's how you do it. <clears throat> not that complicated, right? Your beliefs are the result of your experience, right? If I stick my hand into here's a great example right when i was little i don't know six or seven years old i think about that now i have a grandchild that's five years old she's almost old enough to make this same mistake somebody left me out in the yard playing with fire i don't know we had you know we lived down on the farm we burned our trash had this little milk jug of gasoline Hey, you just think about how smart some of this stuff was. A milk jug of gasoline only had, you know, a little bit in the bottom of it. Use that to start the fire. Left the jug there. I'd take the stick, put it in the gasoline, put it in the fire. Oh, look, a little fire. And then I'd break it off with my foot and do it again. Well, sooner or later, the stick kept getting shorter and shorter. I'm like, eh, I'm not going to break that off. I'll just stick it in the gasoline. Well, woo! And the, you know, embers on the end of the stick ignited the gasoline, the jug melted like that, all of a sudden the yard's on fire. Fast forward now a few decades, I believe that if you put glowing embers into a can of gasoline, they'll ignite, right? That's based on my experience, well-founded belief, I think. You might disagree, but I don't encourage you to try it at home. So... So now I believe that to be true. Whether it really is or not doesn't matter. We'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow. But I believe that to be true. So how can you increase your belief factor? By experience. I started to say by the same way, but I don't want you to run out and stick fire into gasoline. 
by experience, right? Confidence comes with experience. How do you gain experience? The only one way, right? By doing it. If you want to know what the outcome is going to be, what the result is going to be, then you have to have that experience. There is a super fantastic book called Thou Shall Prosper by uh, a rabbi, Daniel Lappin. And, and it takes, it kind of uses the Ten Commandments format to talk about the ten things you need to be uh, wealthy. And one of the things in there, one of the, the chapters, talks about being a fortune teller. Not really a fortune teller. I mean, not any more a fortune teller than Warren Buffett's a for, fortune teller. But that's what he's talking about. Have enough experience. Have enough life experience, activity experience, experience in your field so that when when you say X, Y, and Z is going to happen and then X, Y, and Z happens, people are like, what are you, how, are, and how did you know that? Right? Just like Alabama getting into the playoffs. I called that last week, but nobody's going to want to hear that later on today on the radio show, Scotty. Anyway, um, have that experience, gain that experience, and then draw on it. If you don't have, I mean, and don't, um, it's almost inevitable. Somebody's going to, to jump directly in the deep end of the pool to gain this experience. You don't have to do that. You can wade into the pool. You can jump into the deep end. Either way, you gain experience, right? But let that experience guide you. That experience will build your belief factor. And before long, you just believe. Oh, yeah, I know that if I do this, this is going to be the outcome. I know that if I send 20 connection requests on LinkedIn, I'll get five back. So if I need 25, I just need to send 100. I, I mean, it's it's not any more complicated than that. It really isn't. All right. That's it for today. Building your belief. So the question I want you to take away today, what are you challenged with? What do you think might be right, but you're not really sure? You want to build some confidence in that? Get in it and do it and find out. Build your own belief factor to go along with that. Today is Tuesday. Radio show's coming up in a little less than 50 minutes. Be sure and tune in for that. WTKIRadio.com or right here on Facebook. The easiest way to find it is TalkRadioForEntrepreneurs.com That gets you to the right page on Facebook so you can watch the show. In fact, if you're watching this, you'll see it in the same place. Alright. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll talk about what if your belief is wrong? What do you do then? Got a good answer for that, too. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. I will talk to you in the morning. Take care.